Hey there! In this video, we'll create a quick and simple to-do list web application using the ABP framework. So this video is gonna cover this version of the documentation with the UI as Blazor WebAssembly and the database provider as MongoDB. And I'll be walking you through this documentation. Let's get started. This is how it's gonna look. We have a very simple to-do list application here and we can type in, for example, make coffee drink water and stay hydrated and let's also say water the plants so we can type into the list and we can get the list and we can also delete from the list simple as that let's get started so the first thing i'll do is copy the command that installs the abp cli which i'm guessing that you already have and yeah i already have it right here so I don't have to install it. Next up, I'm gonna go to the directory of my solutions and I'll create a new folder right here and I'm gonna call it to-do app. And I'll go to this folder and then I'm gonna copy the command that'll create the solution for me. So ABP new to-do app, same name as the folder name right here and the UI is going to be Blazor WebAssembly and the database provider is going to be MongoDB. All right, now that it showed us this page, then our solution has been created successfully. Let's go to it and let's open our solution. And here is our domain-driven design solution. Let's run the DB migrator to create the database and see the initial data. And we want to run the solution just to see how it initially looks before we do anything. Next up, I'm going to run the HTTP API host. And it's opened Swagger UI for us. We have our endpoints right here. We can test them and everything. And since it's open, we can run our Blazor project. So this is how our app initially looks. Let's log in. So this is how it looks. We have the administration section right here that has both identity management and tenant management. A tenant management is where you have more tenants that will have their own identity management of roles and users. Or you can just use your own admin project from here and just use your own roles and users. And we also have the settings of the project. Let's stop running the solution and get to work. So the first thing we'll work on is the domain layer. This application has a single entity and we'll start by creating it. We'll create a new to-do item class inside the to-do app domain project. I'm going to copy this one and I'll find the domain project right here and I'll create a new class to-do item and I'll paste in the code that I've copied right here. It'll inherit from basic aggregate root and good is the primary key. And next up is the database integration. We're going to set up the MongoDB configuration. We're going to open the MongoDB context class in the MongoDB project. We're going to copy the property from here and we'll find MongoDB from here, MongoDB folder and the MongoDB context from here. And this is where we'll put our properties and let's support the misc references. And then we'll copy the mapping code and paste it in the create model method. And by that, we've mapped the to-do item entity to the to-do items table in the database. Next up is the application layer. An application service is used to perform the use cases of the application, and we need to perform the following use cases. Getting the list of the to-do items, creating a new to-do item, and deleting an existing to-do item. So, first thing we'll do is create the interface. We're going to create a new i to do app service interface in the to do app application contracts. Let's find it. I'm going to copy this code and I'll find the application contracts project right here. And I'll create a new interface i to do app service. And right here, I'm going to paste it. And right here, the get list async and create async will be returning a to do item DTO. So let's create this class in the same project the application contracts to do item DTO. And I'll paste in the code from here. I'll take this one 
this is the DTO class, and I'll paste it right here. It's just a very simple DTO class that matches our to-do item entity. And right now we are ready to implement the interface. We're going to create a new to-do app service class inside the application project. Let's find it. This is the application project and we're going to create the app service. So to do app service, and I'm going to paste in the code right here. It inherits from the application service class, which is provided by the ABP framework itself and is going to help us with those three use cases, getting the to-do items, creating and deleting the to-do items. And also it implements our interface. And so we're going to implement the methods right here. First method is getting the to-do items. I'm going to copy it. I'll paste it right here. Second one, creating a new to-do item. And I'll paste it below. And the last one, deleting a to-do item. Now, these three methods actually came from a repository that we're using because ABP provides default generic repositories that you could use. And right here, we've injected the I repository, which is the default repository for the to-do item entity. And then after injecting it, we have used its methods right here, get list async, insert async, and delete async. So if we take a look right here, these are all standard repository methods to deal with the database. And now let's move on to the UI since the application is ready to be used from it. Let's start with the index razor class. I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to find the blazer project pages index razor CS, this one. And I'm going to paste it right here. Now, this class uses the I to do app service to perform operations on the to do items. It manipulates the to do items list after the create and delete methods. And this way, we don't have to refresh the page every time we create a new to do item or delete one. Next up, I'm going to copy the razor page and I'll find it right here and I'll paste it right here. And finally, I'm going to copy the styling and I'll find the CSS file and I'll paste it right here. And by that, we can run our web app. I'll start with the HTTP API host. Here's the Swagger UI with our endpoints and we can actually find the to do endpoint right here and we can actually test it by the way. And then let's run the Blazor project. And as you can see right here, we have our web app. Let's type in something, drink some water, make some tea, and feed the cat. So we've typed in, we can get the list, and we can also delete. And that is how to create a to-do list web application using Blazor WebAssembly and MongoDB. See you next time.